Seven Day Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC Lions Den basketball community. In this case, smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share the video. So, last night, the Phoenix Suns fall 87 to 97 to the Denver Nuggets. Now, <clears throat> I got angle a lot. Even though this is a low scoring game compared to, I mean, when you consider today's NBA standards, this is one of the best basketball games I've seen in a long time. Uh, fluent offense. I thought that uh, the Denver Nuggets played a phenomenal game. The way these guys shared the basketball, uh, the plays that they ran. I mean, I know, look, man, I might be tripping, right? I'm so impressed by it because I'm a Milwaukee Bucks fan, right? And, and we, we, our coach is so horrible. We don't run no plays like this. Like, like we don't look, look at how Jokic was utilized in this game. This man, is, <laughs> he did everything for his team. I mean, the, the passion, the unselfishness of the Nuggets is something I envy as a Bucks fan. These guys are balling out of control, right? And, of course, old Patch Top, old Patchy, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's what I call him. Kevin Durant, I call him old Patchy. You know what I'm saying? Not a Patchy, but old Patchy. Uh, Kevin Durant was horrible again. Um, you know, he didn't have a bunch of turnovers this time, but, you know, he just – his efficiency this time was just down. Let me see if I got them stats up here. Let's see if I got okay these stats. Let me see here. Kevin Durant, 24 points. Uh, you know, look, man. 10 for 27 is the big thing. Kevin Durant was 10 for 27 from the field, uh, played 44 minutes, and he needs to play that many minutes for the Phoenix Suns to have a chance to win it. But he's tired now, like he always is. He's tired. 44 minutes, 10 for 27 from the field, 2 for 12 from the three-point line. Why would you shoot 12 three-pointers if you two for 12? I mean, if you already, you know, you know you suck. A shooter know he, he having a bad night. The only person I give a pass for keep shooting is Steph Curry, Klay Thompson. Everybody else, sit down somewhere. When you when you missing all the threes, you don't need to be shooting no more. All right? So, so Kevin Durant is the reason why they lost this game. Devin Booker showed up and showed out. Devin Booker had 35 points. 14 for 29, that's about right for him. Four for eight from the three-point line. Devin Booker hit a lot of clutch shots for the Phoenix Suns. Kevin Durant, is trying to, he tried to join the Phoenix Suns, go along for the ride. He figured, well, they were just in the championship versus the Bucks a few years ago. Uh, we'll be just fine. I'm going to keep playing them. You know, look here, bro. Get Kevin Durant out of here, please. I told y'all this before, but y'all ain't want to listen to me because y'all some Westbrook haters. I told y'all. The reason why OKC failed was not just because of Russ. Yeah, Russ, he, he made mistakes for sure. He's partial to blame. But 50% of that blame goes to Kevin Durant. Nobody wants to blame him. Everybody wants to kiss his behind. Oh, Kevin Durant, man, he's the best shooter. Kevin Durant, best player in the world. You ain't never heard me say that garbage because I saw the, the OKC games. I watched every game. Kevin Durant choked just as much as Westbrook did in those playoffs against uh, the Golden State Warriors. Go back and look at the numbers. I did a whole video talking about this. Then he joins the team that beat him and wins a couple of rings. Let me ask you a question. This question is for all the haters of Giannis Antetokounmpo, like Mr. Mass. Shout out to Mr. Mass. I like Mr. Mass, but he a hater. He be hating on, on Milwaukee Bucks. Mr. Mass say, <clears throat> this is a quick question for you, Mr. Mass. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Now, how many championships has Giannis Antetokounmpo won without Steph Curry? <laughs> hey, hey, let me ask that question again. How many championships has Giannis Antetokounmpo won without Steph Curry, Mr. Mass, and all the rest of the Giannis haters? This is the answer to that question for me. You know what I'm saying? Then ask, answer this question after you answer that one. How many championships has Kevin Durant won without Steph Curry? Thank you for your answer, sir. Thank you for your honesty. Salute to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Durant needs to go somewhere, sit down somewhere. You dig? 
Now let's get to uh so the Phoenix, I'm um, not Phoenix, but the Denver Nuggets are up to nothing over Phoenix. I think Denver will try to sneak in one game. They might get swept. Now I said this in my last video that they might get swept. It's all gonna come down to uh the officiating. The officials are going to try to help Phoenix try to stretch this series out for TV ratings purposes. But if if uh Denver stays on them. If Denver stays on them, they can close out uh, Phoenix. Easy. I told you Phoenix ain't that good. Chris Paul hurt. So what? He always hurt. He hurt every playoffs. He trash. Chris, Chris Paul is so overrated. This, bro, I'm telling y'all. I, I, see, I be knowing what I'm talking about. This is what bothered me the most. People are like, oh, man, Chris Paul, the point guard. Uh, Westbrook trash. But bro, how many championships Chris Chris Paul won? He, he's so so smart. He got all this great team around him. How many how how many chips has he won? Nothing. How many has Russ won? Nothing. Right? Same old, same old. They're the same ugly, both of them. All right. Now let's get to uh this next game. Well, actually, I got I got I mean let me give a shout out to Jokic because Jokic did ball out. Jokic uh had 39 points, 17 for 30. Uh, from the floor, uh, Jokic absolutely balled out. He did. He balled out of control. Uh, you know, I've been very critical of Jokic only because I feel like the media and fans were not putting pressure on him to win a championship like they did other uh, MVPs. But I'm glad Jokic has rise to the occasion, and he putting the smack down right now on O uh, O uh, O Patchy. Oh, Patrick Kevin Durant, he putting a smack down on him. Yes, indeed he is. And, and, and uh, Murray didn't even have a good game. Jamal Murray, it was trash today. You know what I'm saying? Murray was absolute trash. You know what I'm saying? KCP was better than Murray. Uh, Murray, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Michael Porter Jr. didn't do nothing. Nothing. This was all uh, Jokic. Shout out to Jokic. All right? Now, I find it interesting, too, before I, I move on to the Celtics game, I find it interesting that Jokic, when he was when, when people was debating who was the best player in the league, was it Giannis or Jokic, I find it interesting that everybody was just, just roasting Giannis and joining up with Jokic, jo jumping on the Jokic bandwagon. Oh, people don't like Jokic because he's white. Oh, you're hating on Jokic. Now when it's Jokic versus KD, everybody quiet. Well, you know, you know, you know. Trying to protect the uh, Apache. Let me see what we got here. Let's go to the Celtics. Celtics versus uh, the Boston Celtics versus the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. This is a great matchup. Great matchup. First of all, I call I, you know, I call Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown kid and play. That's just my nickname for him. My it's a personal thing, you know what I'm saying? I always thought play was better than kid, but kid got all the credit for obvious reasons and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know. So Jason Tatum is kid. Play is, is Jalen Brown, and Jalen Brown to me is the better player. Tatum gets more shots. He get he got the green light. Tatum is the guy who the NBA and the Celtics want to be the face of the league. That's cool, whatever. But Jalen Brown's a better player. If y'all don't want Jalen Brown, let him go. Let him come to the Milwaukee Bucks. We'll, we'll give y'all Chris Milton. You know what I'm saying? We'll give y'all Chris, you know, uh, and we'll give Grayson, Grayson Allen. We'll give Chris Milton and Grayson Allen in a, in a, in a, in a, a scrub for Jalen Brown. Because I believe Jalen Brown and Giannis does damage. Damage. You see what I'm saying? I'm with it all day. <clears throat> now, the Celtics just got smoked by uh, James Harden and the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, Joel Embiid didn't play because Joel Embiid does this every year. He pretends to be hurt or he gets hurt because he ain't got no heart. You know what I'm saying he's a coward. But I like Joel Embiid as a player. I think he's very talented, but he's a coward. You know, he does this every year. It seems like one, two years. He does this every single year. Either he's crying or he hurt somewhere. Uh, James Harden dropped 45 points. 17 to 30 from the field, over 50%, 7 for 14, 
uh, from the three point line, fifty percent from the three point line. Amazing game by James Harden. This was old school James Harden back in the Houston days. Finally showed up in the playoffs. Salute to James Harden. Uh, Maxi, Maxi had twenty six. Salute to Maxi. Did his thing. Tobias Harris had eighteen points. <clears throat> Reed had ten. Um, and they had uh, Melton. I don't even know who Melton is. Uh, I, I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. Melton, he has 17 points coming off the bench. But I don't know who he is. But shout out to him. You know what I mean? They came out balling. They shocked the Boston Celtics. However, James Harden was correct when he said to his teammates, hey, relax. This is just one game. He was absolutely correct. Because Boston coming back. <clears throat> one thing about Boston, they're going to come back. It's easy to, 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 to knock a team off of the game plan when, it, when, when they start players not playing, right? When they start, because it'd be so much attention in film study on, oh, we got guard Joel and B. Hey, when a B does this move, you got to come over and do this. And this. Then when he say he ain't playing, it throws the team off whack. Now you got guard James Harden, and y'all lost respect for James Harden. Harden had to remind you of who just who he is. Now, I'm not concerned. I don't believe Philly can, is going to beat uh, Boston. But if Philly wins game two, I'm going to be concerned. I'm going to be concerned just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Now, Jason Tatum had 39 points and 14 for 25 from the field. Jalen Brown was 8 for 10 from the field. And, um, you know, he had 23 points. He should have shot more. Uh, I think Jalen Brown should have got more shot attempts. Uh, Brown did turn the ball over a little bit. Uh, matter of fact, Boston Celtics had 16 turnovers. That's why they lost the game. Marcus Smart, who's supposed to be the point guard, right, because you always talk about how point guards, you know, matter and point guards this and that. Marcus Smart is the point guard. He's the ball handler. The man had six turnovers and, and seven assists. That's a horrible ratio. He was a minus seven. Al Horford, trash. Al Horford was a – well, I ain't going to say he was trash because that, that's just using them analytics. He was actually pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Al Horford was five for eight from the field. That's not his job to be the leader of the team, so I ain't going to say he was trash. I ain't going to do that. This came down to Jalen Brown, uh, Jason Tatum, and Marcus Smart. You know what I'm saying? They messed up this game at the end of the day. But the only, only solution I figure – it's for the Celtics to split up. Jalen Brown's not happy. Jalen Brown needs to go to the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, as long as the Bucks keep Giannis and we keep Drew Holiday and we keep Bobby Portis, everybody else can go. Everybody else can go. If we keep Giannis, we keep Drew Holiday, and we keep Bobby Portis, Everybody else can go. I would like to keep Brooke Lopez because Brooke is back. He got the, you know he got that surgery. You know Brooke is back. I don't want to just lose Brooke Lopez for nothing. Now, plus, I don't think Boston is going to want Brooke Lopez because of uh, the the guy they got, Robert Williams. So we keep Brooke Lopez, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Bobby Portis, and uh, uh, Drew Holiday. Everybody else can go. If it means we get Jalen Brown, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the Celtics ain't going to part ways with a uh, old kid. They ain't going to do that. That's my opinion on the matter. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm on vacation right now, so uh, my video is going to be, uh, you know, here and there. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button, y'all. I'm up out of here. Deuces.